Every one of these puzzle pieces completely fits evolution, attraction, repulsion, the basic mechanism of the universe. It ties together every string. There's nothing left over, no remainders, no broken pieces. It all fits together. The lines all match up. And you're making this argument that somehow a rational person should deny the existence of that rational setup, that perfectly logical matrix sitting right there in front of them screaming, this works, this works, this works. And they're supposed to look over at your wacky theory where 13-year-old girls get raped and murdered and it doesn't matter. Yeah, fuck you. You should get what you've earned. You're gonna talk shit like this, you should have the shit fall on you hard, motherfucker. You fucking goddamn psychopath enabler. You motherfucking insidious, disgusting truth molester. I've been attempted, nor have I seen any anti attempt to demonstrate the truth of this proposition. What does that mean? They haven't attempted to what? Demonstrate the proof that sentience the capacity to feel is a manifestation of our brain function. I have to prove my personal experience. Well, I can't prove it. I can only testify to it. But I'm telling you it's as lucid as any other claim I'm making about existence. So if I tell you a rock is brown and I do all this other stuff and it's all accurate, I'm saying this perception I have that this suffering thing matters is just as rock solid as every other single thing in my consciousness. It's that strong. I'm, I'm not like... I barely see the ghost over there. Sometimes when I squint my vision, I can barely see the ghost of suffering. No, it's not like a ghost. It's not like any of that shit. It's as solid as my belief in the ground underneath my feet and the sky above my head. It's one of the most solid perceptions in my entire conscious realm that this suffering thing is real, that it has a decidedly negative fucking um, um, character. So there's that testimony. Now my second argument to you is that it's demonstrated in the behavior of every single other animal with a brain on this planet. None of them run to suffering and run away from comfort. None of them. Not a single one, except for the ones we've defined as psychotically crazy. Now those two pieces of evidence should be enough to convince anybody who's fucking reasonable. They really should. You're quite obviously not reasonable. You're the insult to philosophy, fella. Please don't shit all over philosophy on your way there.